Hey everyone, Psychriasen here, and today I'm going to be doing a speed sketch video because I didn't quite have time to do a more in-depth tutorial this week, and I wanted to make sure I still finish a video every week. And that brings me to the, the topic of being consistent and uh, doing things and not breaking your habits. I think that's so important because it would be very easy for me to maybe not have time or not feel like doing a video this week. And then what'll happen is next week, maybe, I don't know, maybe I won't feel like it again. Maybe I'll have some excuse and then it just, it, it's very easy to fall off the wagon. So um, with anything, it's very important to to make sure you do what you need to do. And uh, another thing I do every day, I've mentioned before, is uh, study for an hour every day and make sure you're doing that. And I think I'm at, I don't know, over 130 days maybe now? Anyway, so I get asked recently quite a bit in, in emails or private messages or things about uh, how to start. And um, people are, still worried about talent. Now, I, I think I've covered talent in plenty of my videos and um, my view on it is that it's like, it makes things easier. It's a multiplier. Um, if you are talented, perhaps, um, it would take you uh, 10 days to figure out something that perhaps a not talented person might take 20 days. So it doesn't mean the not talented person can't do it. it just takes a bit longer. Um, but actually, I don't think talent is the rare thing. Um, yeah, it's rare, but it's not what separates the successful people from the not successful people. And I think what separates the successful people from the not successful people is commitment, dedication, perseverance, and sacrifice. Um, you have to understand that if you want to get to a very high level in anything, there's a cost to that. And often the cost is pretty high. Um, so before I've, I've mentioned how uh, people sometimes work 12, 16 hours a day just drawing all day and studying and practicing. Um, now that's not the great majority of people who do that. That's a uh, a small minority of people and I've done that on a few occasions where I'm working that hard um, and you do improve very fast but uh, that is really difficult to be that committed and it's also not something you would do immediately you know you'd probably start by making sure you're doing at least an hour every day and then bump that up to a, an hour and a half or two hours of drawing and then uh, it just keeps increasing after that. But when when you are as hardworking as that or as willing to sacrifice as someone who's going to put in 12 hours a day, of course you're going to get very good. Um, and that's another thing. I've, I think I've mentioned that, you know, you could go from an, a complete beginner level to uh, a pretty decent almost professional or even professional level in about two years if you worked like crazy you could do that it's been done before but it's very rare and it involves a lot of sacrifice so if you hear stories of people who in two years they they really you know made that kind of a huge change what you also well you often don't hear it but what also is tends to be true is well they gave up relationships with friends and family. Um, they don't watch TV much. They don't play video games. They've given up a lot. And just like with talent, you don't have to do that. You don't have to have talent. It just takes longer. And the same thing is true with art. You don't have to give everything up. It's just going to take you longer and then understand that. So Let's say, I mean, art schools, 
that are pretty okay quality tend to be four years because if you're not going absolutely crazy you would expect it to take about four years of dedicated uh, drawing and painting to become proficient at it it's got to take about that much time I know um, when I went to animation school it was just a one-year program but uh, the teachers all said that it takes 10 years just to be a decent animator. It takes about 10 years of, of dedicated practice. So it's important to remember that these things take time. Um, I can't tell you how many times people have sent me uh, paintings and it's like, you know, hey, I wanted a critique on this painting or uh, could, could you take a look at this painting and it's my first painting and uh, what could I do differently and things and it's it's to me it's a little bit crazy it's like wait but it's your first painting I mean that doesn't make any sense to me it's like if you sent me your 100th painting and said okay I've done a hundred paintings and I've because of that I'm, I've, I've practiced the program. I, I know that, you know, what the basic tools do because I've experimented. Um, I've run into problems and I've had time to either overcome those problems or they're real problems because even after a hundred paintings, I couldn't figure this out. Then it's fine. It's like, yeah, okay, let's look at that. Let's um, figure that out. Uh, but if it's just your first painting, well, I can't, the, everything is, you know, you don't know if you could have figured it out by yourself. Um, so I think it's really important to understand just how important mileage is. And even things like proportions where people are like, well, I'm having trouble with proportions. Can you, can you help me or give me a tutorial? And I have tutorials on proportions. Um, I have methods of breaking things down, but even then, that's only, that's not even half of it. That's like maybe 2% is that tutorial and what it can tell you. 98% is that if you just draw over and over again, do hundreds and thousands of drawings, eventually the proportions make sense. And if you learn, for instance, uh, the ideal proportions, and it's an eight head figure or a seven and three-quarter head or whatever it is well if you've been drawing for a, a long time it's not hard to turn that into a five head proportion or a six head proportion but if you don't draw enough then it's gonna take forever it's gonna be really well I mean it's gonna be very difficult <laughs> not it's gonna take forever it's gonna be very difficult to deal with proportions so understand that so much of this has to do with mileage and even when you get a tablet and let's say and a lot of people worry about tools as well and don't worry about tools uh, my most used tool except for when I'm working because then I have to use a Cintiq but it's pencil and paper and that's my favorite tool to use um, and that might not be yours uh, you, you really got to experiment and find out what you like so uh, different artists like different things and uh, if you buy a, a graphics tablet, that's fine. Now you can color and paint on a computer, but um, expect that it's gonna take a long time, a lot of practice to get okay with it. it. Took me a week just to become somewhat comfortable with it. And it took me years to become decent at it. So you can expect that it's gonna take a very long time, um, but understand also that it's gonna happen you're gonna be you're gonna become comfortable with it it because that's just the way the world works you know you practice something and it's going to become easier um, but there's still this thing about well it's a choice between what do you enjoy using so for instance I could practice using uh, let's say pastel and I could become very proficient at pastel but I don't think I'd enjoy it too much because um, the type of person I am I don't 
like the way it feels, really. And I found the same thing with pen, where I've used pen to draw, and it's it's good. It, it's, it's very good, especially because you cannot erase, so it really forces you to um, think about the mark before you put it down. That's great, but for me personally, it just is like, yeah, uh, it, it's cool, but it's it doesn't feel as me as when I use pencil. And so it's important. Do you like to use rough paper? Do you like to use smooth paper? Do you like to use charcoal? Do you like to use, you know, there's two things. There's one, you've got to experiment with it enough to have given it a fair chance so that you know, okay, do I really like it or not? Or do I just not know how to use it? The next thing is, well, now that you've used it, do you like it? And um, when you tend to favor the things that you're naturally suited to or that you enjoy doing, it's you get a lot more work done. Like for me, I enjoy pencil and paper. So when I draw with pencil and paper, I draw more. Um, if and that, and that also changes the way I use um, the computer. I like to paint pencil lines. I hate inking. I hate cleanup lines. So I'm not saying it's bad. It looks great. But whenever I try and clean things up and I ink them, it just it doesn't feel fun for me. And then I tend to slow down and lose interest and lose motivation. So for me, that uh, made me develop a technique that, okay, I can go straight from pencil to paint. I don't need to do the inking thing. I don't need to do the cleanup thing. So understanding these limitations sort of leads to creative ways of solving problems. Um, limitation is such, it's, it's like the mother of creativity because if I said, you know, draw anything, it's hard to come up with an idea. But if I say, um, draw a pirate and both his legs are, are sticks and his arms are, one is a stick and one is a, a robot arm that he found somewhere. And the more, the more I describe it, the more actually open it is for creativity, even though that seems contradictory. But it is because I said a robot arm. I didn't say what kind of robot arm. There's so many different kinds of robot arms. Uh, his legs are sticks, but what kind of sticks, you know? He's a pirate, but is he a software pirate, you know? So it's open to interpretation and that, that sparks original creative ideas. So yeah, I think the main point is if you don't have mileage, get it. And don't be hard on yourself if you don't have mileage and don't have such high expectations that, you know, I've done 10 drawings and I'm still bad. It's like, no, no, no. it's not about that. Do a thousand and then tell me if you're bad or not. Yeah, so hope it helped and thanks for watching.